are you guys doing? Just reading about Florida. I'm just trying to get some ideas. East Coast Avengers. East Coast Avengers. East Coast Avengers. Welcome back to the West Coast Avengers. Well, here it is. The trip I was waiting for all year. You're going to watch the first part right now. And then we'll come back, talk about books. And then eventually this will be over. One day. If you're just watching for the first time, my name is Dave. I am a comic book collector, seller, and enthusiast. These are my adventures. These are the comics that I get. These are the people I meet while I'm doing it. So here we go. Without further ado, the first part of the comic, comic book, book road, road trip. Yeah, yeah, West Coast Avengers. Avengers. West Coast Avengers. West Coast West Coast Avengers. Avengers. Tomorrow morning, I am driving with my buddy Joe. You remember Joe, that guy. Yay. Me and Joe are going to Idaho, Sand Point, Idaho, to meet Jim. Jim is a fan of the channel, and we started talking about seven months ago, six months ago, and he was telling me about his collection, and, you know, we just talked a lot about comics and life and all that stuff in general, and Jim invited me out to Sandpoint to look at his collection, which only half of it is in Sandpoint, the other half is in another location. There may be an exchange of his collection into my hands. We're going to see. Jim's collection, I only know like a little bit of what's in there, but what's in there is quite amazing. A late bronze, copper, early modern collection. But this is just about meeting another fellow comic collector, looking at comics, talking about comics, spending a weekend with comics. We'll start out in Tacoma and head up to Sandpoint, Idaho with some stops along the way. We'll probably stop at an antique mall or two, maybe a comic book store. We're going to bring you along for the journey. This could happen over a couple episodes, but I want you the West Coast Avengers faithful to come along and see what happens. This shot on Thursday night, November 10th. Tomorrow's Friday, November 11th. We'll see you in the car. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> hey. Thank you, thank you. Uh, here we are. The morning of the journey begins. Friday morning, November 11th. I'm gonna drive to Sandpoint, Idaho to go look at Jim Healy's comic collection. Hi, Jim. And uh, anything you have to say for yourself? I, I wanna get a cheeseburger at some point. And I would like a uh, cheeseburger with a Secret Wars 8, 9, 8. More updates from the road as we go look for more of this, because I don't have enough. Where's Ghost Avenger? Here we are, in the Pass of Caliphas. We're going to the mines of Moria to look for comic books. My cousin Balin would give us a royal welcome. We're here in the Stoquami Pass, a.k.a. on our way to Mordor, a.k.a. the Misty Mountains. But uh, I just uh, think the drive's great. How are you doing there over there, Joe? I'm doing well, thank you, Dave. <laughs> yes, I had, many, I had many emotions, but yeah. little words. Uh, yeah, we're, we're outside of uh, Ellensburg by about 40 miles. Enjoy the landscape. There's comics out there. We will find them. Oh. Alright, first stop is this famous specialty foods. It's, a, it's a, a fruit stand, a vegetable stand, and an antique mall. We're going to see if we find any comics in here. Hey. I guess we'll go up here. Horseman, Grendel. Ghost dancing. John Burns, next man number nine. I like the sharks. Yeah, I was looking more at the shark. Guts. A Burt Blylove inside car. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that he was on the twins back then. That's a retro. These masks person. are cool as fuck. <laughs> Gen 13. The Mighty Crusaders. Oh, we're going to find some gems in here. This is all the, the stuff. This is, this what, is what's left. This is what we, we came to find. <laughs> this is what's left. Find anything good in there? No. <laughs> I mean, you don't want Torpedo Man? You don't torpedo want... Man. Torpedo Man. 
torpedo man. He's a, a Jewish superhero. <laughs> Some old Mad magazines. Trying to see if there's one from um, November 1979, which is my birth month and year. But they're, uh, I don't know. I might get this. This is, this is great. It's 15 bucks. Yeah. Maybe. December 69, 1960. Whoa, there's Mad Number 49 from September 1959. Cool stuff. There's a first Dazzler here for 75 bucks. It's an Iron Fist Number 1 for 85. It's a Ghost Rider 4. Can't even see what's down there without looking at the camera. It's this time in Bisley Mode Body Count. What'd you find over here, Joe? Early Savage Sword. Oh, Bizarre Adventures. No, it's not deep. More mad. March 72. If you see a... Oh, well, that's a dope cover. Yeah, they're all dope covers. Yeah, that's the problem with yeah. Savage Sword. It's like you want to buy them all. Look at that one, man. <sighs> yeah, you can't buy them all. Well, you could. You, you could, but... It's just a pain in the ass. Ernie Chan. Mm. This is the cover of the uh, Omnibus, I believe. Here's Myth Adventures. Uh, is, this is number three. Myth Adventures features the first artwork by Tim Sale. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. That's a cool, cool cover of the White Tiger. Yeah. Ellensburg. You know who's from Ellensburg? Mark Lanigan from the Scream Screaming Trees. He's a very talented artist, and he's a fun guy to listen to talk. He's on kayfabe all the time. So I noticed something when I was looking through the Batman. A uh, little top-down view, you probably can't see it, but... Uh, I do have that sixth sense, and that sixth sense is made out of jewels. This is a very early Mark Jewelry variant from a Batman 288 from 1977. It's 15 bucks. Let's get it. I already found one Mark Jewelry, but the, the quest to find another one begins here. With Dave uses his special jeweler vision to. <laughs> No jeweler. Mm. All right, here we are in uh, Post Falls, the premier vendor mall, walking on some ice, ice skating, pouring some coffee out for for, for Kevin Conroy. Rest in peace, Batman. This is the uh, antique mall that uh, Homie talks about, and Homie being Joe. Wow, it's like all collectibles. Oh, he's got a doom. 252 newsstand for 100 bucks? Wait, what's happening here? Why is that so cheap? Well, he's got some. I mean, is 300 a good price on this doom book? Depending on the grade, yes. Like, if it's if it's like a 6 0 or better, 100%. Oh, dude. No, it's not a McFarlane cover. If it was a McFarlane cover, I'd take that in a second. McFarlane name on the cover. What number book is this? I have one and three. Should have brought my harness. <gasps> Ooh. Dan Jurgen signed Death of Superman. Death. J Dan Jurgen signed Life of Superman. Ooh, should we look around at everything and then come back and yeah, dig maybe. through this? Just to see what else is here. Here's another long box. No junk. I want to look. I want to see if it'll be here. What time is it? It's probably. Uh, do it. You do a time check. Yeah, we got. We got an hour. What time is it? It's four fifty-five. I don't want to stay six. here too. Yeah. I, don't I want just to want to make sure we're not like catching them as they're closing. Yeah. Time. We'll have to find out what time they open so we can come back. Maybe on Sunday morning. This place is fucking rad. It's like all nerd and collector shit. Yeah, yeah. 
Damn, there's like toys in every booth. I'm glad I don't collect toys. It'd be very hard to... Especially if I'm not seeing anything Jar Jar. I bet there's something Jar Jar here. Yeah, but I bet I have it. Oh my god. I wonder if this is like a lot of his stuff in just different spots. Whoa, that's signed by Sonny. Yeah, not for $80. Yeah, but no, those, those are, are those. Yeah, those aren't the cool ones. They share the packaging with the cool ones. I know you're still looking for that twenty ninety nine cards. Can we get some comic book cards? Yeah. You stay at it. You know how I got it? Yeah. I knew the oh, I not the I knew the manager of KB Toys. Oh. And so he sold me the unopened package. That's really cool. Art duct duct taped to a wall. <laughs> duct tape sign. It's hilarious. I get it. That's <coughs> real art. That's what art that is. That is true art. That is art with a capital. None of this pretentious bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> art with a capital A. Jesus, this is like all they got the, they got the Todd toy. Yeah, one sign. Yeah, if I he ever does an appearance where I can get some stuff and sign in person again. That's not like a so much stuff to process. That's pretty fu fucking rad. Uh, I, seem to knock off. I feel like I've seen him advertise this wall, but it might yeah. be both. We're gonna have to ask. I take another um, cat one if there's a, what is that, 19? Yeah. I'm supposed to be on the hunt for one of those myself. My buddy's a huge cat fan. Well, I don't need, I have one. Well, so do I. She's a. Uh, oh, it's your friend friend? I know yeah. you're talking about. No, she's a different friend. She's not into comics at all. She's really into cats. And she saw the Sandman episode and loved it. Is that a, look at that. That's fucking cool. So wait, there's two sections of Amazing Fireman. I'm yeah. trying to figure out how this is like... It isn't. It's just... It just is... It is. It is. Okay. Yeah. That's what you were just saying. Oh. Huh. Who that? I don't know, but look, it's a limited edition it's like a blank it's a, color cover. It's a blank cover. Yeah, but it's an Italian. Huh? It's an Italian uh, sketch cover. And it is sketched. It says sketch edition, limited. Oh, there's some fun stuff here. It's definitely not all junk. Probably like the farthest thing from all day. This is the first published cover art from Mark Silvestri. Uh, coming to you from fucking Idaho, Sa Sandpoint, Idaho. Yeah. We're closer to Canada than we are to the West Coast. Yeah, and and this this is Jim, and this is Dave, <laughs> and that's Joe behind the camera. Ta da! <laughs> and. <laughs> We're having an adventure, aren't we? Yeah, I drove uh, across state lines. Oh Don't my tell God. the cops. Don't tell anyone. No, no. I drove across state lines. But he's going back. I am. He's I'm going back. You better watch out, motherfuckers. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you are going back. I hope you're going to be taking some of these comic books with you. Yeah, so uh, Jim, the conversation about your comics yeah. started when you told me about the double cover Thor 337 that you got back. Yeah. And, and, and do you want to know something? I didn't even know it was a double cover. Right. <laughs> Which yeah. says something that I read one issue of it, but I bought like six more <laughs> and I just put them away. And that's the first appearance of uh, Beta, Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill, otherwise known as Beta Man Raymond William. There we go. <laughs> yes. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's, his, that's his birth name. But, um, you know, the, the, the discussion was about 
you finding a new home for your books and me yep. me being the, the type of person that you enjoy watching uh, comic book content. Well, can I say something about that? Sure. What you know, I spend a lot of time watching YouTube when I put comic books in. I see all sorts of different people, and I could name some names, but I'm not. I bet you uh, one of them is... What I want to say is that what I like about what you do, Dave Dave, is you create a community. You Your videos are inclusive, not only of other people who are looking for comic books, but artists, writers, and you have a sense of what brings people together rather than, oh my God, you got a copy of that, I want one too, and see it nothing more as than dollar value. And when I hear you get excited about something obscure. I think that's great. And that's what comic books should be all about is community. And because when I grew up, we'd sit in my cousin's closet on Indiana Avenue in Mishawaka, Indiana, uh, reading Action and Superman and Batman. They were all uh, DC because Marvel wasn't around in the late 50s. And uh, but we used to sit up there and our, our parents would say, hey, we're going home or we're leaving. And oh, wait a second. So what you do is I bonded with my cousins then. And what you're doing now is absolutely what the comic industry and business needs and is all about. So that's why I'm a big fan of yours. Well, thank you. And I, I really is that true, Joe? One hundred percent. Yeah, thank you. that's. That's why I hang out with this guy. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I didn't know that it was going to end up being a community. I just started doing it where I'm like, I want to nerd out about books. And I know that there's going to be a couple of people that are watching. But it, it there, I mean, I'm meeting you for the first time. We've been talking for five months, six yeah, months. Uh, and absolutely. Like, you know, I know this guy because of the, you know, the, the love for this and the hunt. And the hunt was like such oh, a, yeah. it's such a great thing. Like whether it's garage sales, whether it's a comic store, whether it's going to somebody's home to look or office books, or office. Like it, it's, <laughs> it's, you know, we're, we're all under the umbrella of something that we love and um, something that we use to escape to another reality too. Absolutely. And, and it's more fun when you have other people come along with you 100%. and it, it's, and one of the things that I like your energy, I like your enthusiasm, I love your joy, you know, and and I, I love your weirdness, you know, with Jar Jar. Oh, and, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, how wonderful. How wonderful Somebody's to have Somebody's got to love that gungan. Uh, exactly. Oh, well, gungan. better be than me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, you know, I mean, in terms of your uh, new Sunday night going through mm. uh uh, what the, the Todd McFarlane yeah. book, you know, and the love that that you're just radiating, you know, with that work, it, it's wonderful. I, I think I'm I'm a dinosaur in all this because I stopped reading and becoming involved in comics around 1990. Yeah, and uh, so you know when you when you're talking about earlier Joe Ultimate Fallout. Uh, number four, and you puddled in our tiny room. Over. Uh, unforgivable, but uh, you know that's lost on me. But it's nice to see that the comic. Yeah, you know, I grew up when you know there weren't multiverses and things like that. But yeah. the, the the major thing for Superman was keeping his secret identity secret, and how Lois Lane or Jimmy Olsen. I mean, that's the thing that. And then there was always the. Uh, uh, bizarro world, oh, which God, started to create, yeah. you know, so it was not, I look at some of the comic books now when I go into comic book stores just to see, and there's a lot of great graphics, but rather lame on plot or storyline or character development, but I have not been with it for well, that's, 30 years. That's why the independent stuff is really where it's at, because yeah. they're able to do the things and they're not tethered to... Tethered by, or being told. Yeah, yeah, so... Absolutely, so... Um, that's where I'm at. But if you guys want to start looking, you yeah. can do that. Spend some time going through some boxes. Yeah, I want to look through or, some bonuses you know, and books. Okay, go ahead and have fun. And so me and Joe took a minivan that I rented across state lines to Idaho. We did stop at several places. The first stop was that antique mall slash food stand slash fruit stand. It's a weird anomaly that we have here in Washington of fresh produce and old antiques. We didn't find anything there that we really wanted. The next stop was in Ellensburg, Central City Comics. It's a store I've been to a few times. A fun all-purpose a fun all-purpose shop. 
that deals with equal parts tabletop gaming and role play gaming and role playing games and comics. Some new, bunch of old. The store was packed on a Friday. It was it was amazing to see. He does have some graded books. He has a whole bunch of everything. I picked up a couple of issues of Wizard magazine, including this Wizard number eighteen, Bart Sears fold out cover, Carnage, Venom, and Spider Man. As well, it's a newsstand. Really tough to find those in newsstands. Harley's Little Black Book, number 23, Harley Quinn. It's a Bruce Timm sketch cover. Bruce Timm, the, one of the geniuses behind the Batman the Animated Series. And I thought that was pretty dope to see, as well as a Green Arrow variant cover of Harley by the late, great Tim Sale. So, two fun little variant covers. These will be up for sale. I just thought they were unique and DC collectors might want them. I appreciate them too. Recently announced as an animated movie, one of my favorite Xbox games of all time. I just, I found a Gears of War number two. Star Wars Tales number 16, Darth Vader cover. It was three bucks and it's a newsstand. I do believe there's two covers per issue on this. Photo cover and an illustrated cover. We stopped off at Post Falls Antique Mall. It's a smaller antique spot, but there's 20 or so dealers and three or four comic book dealers, five or six are car dealers, toys. It is a collector's dream antique market. <clears throat> so we dug through some of the comics that were there. We were only there for about an hour because it was closing and we wanted to get to Jim's place. I picked up some stuff and I'm going to need some help here trying to identify something. But uh, found a couple of spawns. Wasn't sure if I needed both of them, but you see Todd, you buy Todd, right? Spawn number 196, a vicious cover, Greg Capullo, Todd McFarlane inks of Spawn ripping somebody in half with the chains. Spawn number 82, a classic McFarlane Capullo cover. I, I'm a sucker for holograms. I'm a 90s kid. I saw this Ultraverse prototype hologram cover. It's a number one. I hope this shows up pretty well on the video. If not, I'll try and post a, a photo of it. I can't forget this one right here. Shrek number one. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. First appearance of Shrek in comics. Somebody once told me. House of Secrets number 123. A very cool Frank Robbins cover. And uh, I wonder if Frank Robbins is one of the founding members of Baskin Robbins. And maybe this is one of their flavors that didn't work out. Who knows? All right, so here's where I'm going to need your help, friends of the channel, collectors of all ages and all nations. This is a Batman number 58 Essen edition by Panini Comics and a sketch cover limited of 333 right there. I can kind of gain that's what it says in Italian. Do we know who this is? Who drew this? I, I The art looks cartoonishly familiar. There's this TT right here. Now I can't tell if that's maybe like an onomatopoeia in Italian, you know, like that. Or if that is how this artist signs this book how he does his signature is always in a word bubble uh it is a sketch it is original this could have been for maybe the luca comic convention and if you know any more information throw a comment down below or hit me up on instagram so that was the stuff that i picked up pre meeting jim we got to their house that night had a nice dinner and we started digging through comics that night that saturday happened to be my birthday so jim graciously gifted me with this OG death shirt and this is Neil Gaiman's death and the famous line you get what anyone gets you get a lifetime Sandman is my all-time favorite comic so thank you so much again Jim for this very very gracious gift so Friday night we looked through some books and then we crashed and got some rest and me and Joe were very very excited to get to the books on Saturday we looked through boxes of slabs boxes of raws I think this is a good way to close out the first part of this. Stay tuned next week as we dive right into his collection. I'll show you the stuff that I got for my personal collection. Find out what happened to the rest of everything. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to join on Wednesday for Wales Ghost Wednesday Eve. And also my new, new-ish Sunday night comic book talk show called Sunday Sit Down. Yes, I know. Look, if you know anything about branding and marketing, you got to make sure everybody knows. So Dave is synonymous with these shows named Dave. Hey, all right. Anyway, I'm done explaining myself. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week on the...
Thank you, true believers. I keep looking over here, but I should be looking over there. Down with the government. What's up, Gamic Famine? <laughs>